What's up everybody, it's Drew Wilkins with Swine and Bovine Barbecue, and in this video, we're making some direct heat mango habanero ribs. Let's get going. Have ourselves a full rack of spare ribs. So it's got the rib tips on. We're gonna keep them spare ribs as much as possible. We've got a little, uh, little floppiness over here that we're gonna have to take care of. Uh, but the first thing we wanna do is flip them over, get rid of this flat meat on the back. All this meat will be saved for sausage. We're trimming off here. You see this big bone right here, you wanna get that off as well. Just a bunch of cartilage and stuff in there. Since so we've got that there, we'll go ahead and round that off a little bit. Flip these back over. This meat right here will just kinda of curl up and not really do much, so we're gonna take a little bit of that off. We're gonna flip it back over. There's a little small bone right here we wanna get rid of. So take that off. And then an itty bitty bone right here we wanna get rid of. Now we're just gonna smooth out this top section just a little bit. You know what, we got a little bit of that bone still left in there, so we're gonna have to take a little more off than we previously thought. These are gonna turn a little more into St. Louis style, but that's okay. There's still a big longer piece of that bone right there. More St. Louis than I was hoping for, but that's okay. These are still gonna eat good. For our jerk rub, we're gonna start off with some kosher salt, coarse black pepper, granulated garlic, granulated onion, some sugar, thyme, parsley, paprika, and then equal amounts clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice, and habanero powder. Get it all mixed up and our rub is done. Now we're gonna go on with a decent amount of our rub to season these ribs. And a little bit of habanero powder, just FYI, goes a long way. You want to be careful with it because you can easily make these too spicy. That is a lot hotter than cayenne, in my opinion. Just a nice liberal coating. Also, rub smells fantastic. I'm going to let these hang out. Let's go fire up the pit. Chud box is cruising along at 300 degrees, which is exactly where we want it. So we're going to get these ribs on. We're going to let these go for the next hour. So we'll shut it down, make sure our temps stay around 300. Be back when it's time to flip them. We're an hour into our cook and it's time to flip the ribs. So let's get these flipped over. Backside looking great. Didn't get too dark, was a little concerned about that given the small granules and sugar in the rub, but looking pretty fantastic. So now we're gonna shut this down, let them go meat side down for about an hour. And in the interim, let's go make our mango habanero mop sauce. For our mop sauce, we're gonna start off with half a stick of butter. Butter is melted down, so now we're gonna add some onion, the flesh from two mangoes, and three roughly chopped habaneros, seeds and all. I'm gonna get this all mixed up into the butter and let it cook down quite a bit, that way all these flavors start to meld together. Cook this down for about 15 minutes. Everything is nice and soft, so now we're gonna go in with some apple cider vinegar, then a little hot sauce, a little bit of Worcestershire, a good amount of hot honey, granulated garlic, ground mustard, a little bit of paprika, some coarse black pepper, and a good amount of kosher salt. We'll mix this up, give it a taste, adjust if needed, otherwise our mop sauce is done. Now that our mop sauce is done, we're going to hit the back side of these ribs with it. It's a nice even coating. We're about 50 minutes in, meat side down, so we'll hit this one more time, then come back and flip these over. One additional mop later, and it is time to flip our ribs. Let's see how these are looking. Great pullback on the bones here. Oh yeah, those look fantastic. Pretty dark, which is not surprising at all, given the fact that we had sugar in our rub, we had a lot of granulated, smaller granules in our rub. Man, these look really, really good. Now, time to start hitting them with our mango habanero mop. So we'll come back, do this every so often until they're nice, fully tender and ready to pull. 30 minutes after we flipped them and it is time to pull our ribs. And they are looking absolutely fantastic. Nice and tender. You see we've got a great flop here. It's time to pull them. I'm gonna get these ribs pulled off, put on some foil, and then we're gonna come over the top with a little bit more of our mango habanero mop sauce. 
And I have these bones side down, so meat side up in the foil. I don't want to lose a lot of the color. I really like the dark color on these, and I don't want to lose a lot of that. If we were to wrap it meat side down, I find that that typically happens a little bit. So we're gonna loosely wrap these, let them come down and temp. Once they hit about 140, slice them up and eat. Our ribs have rusted, come down to 140 degrees. So let's see how they look. Let them rest for a little longer after they came down to 140 and poked a hole in the foil, so I went double wrap. But man, these are looking absolutely fantastic. They smell phenomenal too. That is a good looking rack of ribs. Let's cut into them. For cutting ribs, I like to go bone side up. It's a lot of variation in the way a rib bone can go, so I like to eliminate user error because Lord knows I'm prone to it. But just simple enough, slice between the bones. All right, let's go for a meaty one right in here. Nice, juicy rib. Anticipation's killing me. Let's dig in. The time has come. The wings look fantastic. They smell even better than they look, but I'm dying to know how these taste, so let's dig in. Cheers. These are really, really good. Had to go through the majority of a rib to kind of formulate a thought process on what I thought, but Man, you can really taste that mop sauce. The mop sauce is fantastic. It's got some spice to it. It's got that mango flavor associated with it as well. It's a little sweet, a little heat, exactly what I love. But you can also really taste that dry rub on these ribs, which is a good thing. You really get the hints of the allspice, the cinnamon, the cloves, the nutmeg, the really floral stuff that we put in that dry rub. It's fantastic. Knuckle meat on these ribs is really, really good too. That's why we're trying to keep a little bit of that rib tip meat within it. These ribs are really, really good. Completely different from the traditional direct heat style ribs that we make, but that's what I was going for. I wanted something different. It's not overpowering in any way either. Like it's not too spicy. You could probably add another habanero in there if you wanted to. The mango flavor is not too overpowering as well. And then the dry rub that we made, it's not terribly overpowering either. But once you combine everything, makes a really, really solid rib. And with that mop sauce, I think you'd be fine just going salt and pepper. If you don't want to do a jerk style rub, no biggie. Use whatever seasoning or rub you like, and that mop sauce will probably complement it really, really well. So two of my favorite things to eat are ribs and chicken wings. If you can't tell, I'm trying to add some chicken wing flavor to my ribs. We originally did it with the hot and spicy direct heat ribs. I'll link that video here. You can go check it out a while back, and those were fantastic. Now we got some mango habanero ribs, really, really good. So maybe garlic Parmesan, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what type of wing flavored ribs you wanna see me cook next. That's gonna do it for this video. These were fantastic. I cannot recommend giving them a shot enough. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and let me know what wing flavored rib you want me to cook next in the comments down below. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.